We're designing homes with very little sun available. You know, the sun maybe only shines over the winter 30% of the time, but we're still able to get half the heat from that house from the sun. A lot of the things that you do to heat a house passively also translate into cooling. Okay? Just the simple act of take, orienting a house, if you're to do nothing else, if you just orient a house with a long axis running east and west, so the, so the long axis of your house actually faces south. Okay? Just that simple act will reduce your energy consumption by heating and cooling bills by about 10%. If you concentrate some of the windows, put some of the windows along the south, you can get upwards of 25 or 30% of your heat from the, from the sun. If you do other things like insulate really well and provide some thermal mass inside the building, you can get up to 80 or 90% of your heat from the sun. And the simple act of doing that, of, of insulating and doing and orienting the house correctly also keeps it cooler in the summer because this particular orientation minimizes the heat gain during the summer. If your house, say, that they say this is east and this is west, if your house is oriented this way, the sun is really high in the sky so it stays on your roof most of the day. If your house is oriented this way, you'll get tremendous amount of solar gain during the early part of the day. The sun will be on the roof during the middle part of the day, and then you'll get blasted again during the end of the day. So that simple act of just orienting correctly for solar will also make your house much cooler.